Buddy Heald again, seven straight double-figure games, averaging 20 points in that stretch. Nice pass. Yeah, it really was. Good job by Bogey, who uh, got challenged on the shot, had to throw the ball away to get himself available. And Bogdanovich is fouled on the baseline by Jackson. Boy, he has been so much... Uh, he, he brings the team a lot of joy, Chris. When he plays with this kind of confidence, he gets back to it. Shot clock, one. Bogdanovich draws the foul. And it may be a three-point shot. The official will look at it, and that's Ben Taylor. Yeah, they're definitely going to take a look at it. And the Pacers, Bogdanovich, but he's got a, a good future. Now, this is what I think Bogey is doing much better. It's putting it on the ground. And again, when you only see him, you and I would see him the last few years in Brooklyn. You didn't know that he was capable of doing it. Different than uh, Bogey, because he's more apt to put it on the floor. Bogey is just much more confident knocking down the jump shot. He's got 13. Pacers have four seconds. Bogdanovich to the basket. That's goaltending on Labissiere. And the Pacers get it. Challenged by Turner, the air ball. Bogdanovich for three, count it! He has a shot at a four-point play. Great job getting his feet set quickly on that fast break. Is Vince Carter fouled on the three-point make? Pacers don't play again until Sunday afternoon at Staples Center in L.A. And Bogdanovich has 21. And that forces a Dave Yeager timeout. So Boyan Bogdanovich has started this road trip with a 17-point night at Golden State, and he has 21 and counting. that because he got his hands on the ball, and in doing so, Pacers get a fast break and take a little bit more win out of this Sacramento Kings team. Now they called it a two, so not a three. It's remaining for the Kings as Bogdanovich hits a pair.